Hey guys, Andrew here from JMI Company, and I'm here to talk to you today about how you can save money by monitoring your chilled water of your chilled water system. So why would we want to monitor our chilled water? Well, the simple answer is it's going to save money. Um, you're going to, they call this energy efficiency, but what this means is it costs money to make your water cold and run it through your plant, run it through your system, and make sure that the right things are cold at the right times. And if you are, over chilling that water, then you're spending too much money, too much energy, making the water too cold. Um, on the other side, if you're not chilling it enough, then you really want to make sure that you're chilling it enough so that the assets that you're trying to run the chilled water through or for uh, are going to be well maintained. So on either side, whether your water is too cold or too hot, it's going to end up saving you money by monitoring your chilled water. You're either going to save money on your utility bill. Uh, it's very possible you'll find heat sinks or chill sinks, places where the chilled water gets trapped, and you'll be able to do something about that after monitoring and finding out where they are. Um, and on the other side, you'll be able to regulate or balance things like your chiller usage. You don't want to be overrunning your chillers, and you want to make sure that everything that needs to get cold is getting cold. So we have a way of doing that with zero repair downtime. There is no need to ever shut down your system, and you're using this thing over here on the right called a Flexum Clamp-On Ultrasonic BTU Energy Meter. So I'll explain more about that in just a minute here. When we think about chilled water, some of the things that we consider right up front is, do you have any chillers? How many do you have? Uh, what type of, how many lines do you have? Do you, do you want to be monitoring and really breaking out how you're monitoring all the lines? What lines are important? what water is running through the chillers, what type of mix. Um, and, and then we also like to assess, how are you currently monitoring it? Many people, they have something like a mag meter, if they have anything for their chilled water monitoring. They have a mag meter um, measuring water flow. And that really doesn't give you an energy reading, but it does tell you water's flowing through the pipe, which is, which is information, it's good. Um, some people will have a mag meter and they'll combine that with a temperature reading and they'll put a temperature reading on the, uh, the supply and the return, and then they'll send the water flow plus the temperature reading back to a flow computer to then perform the BTU calculation. And if you're doing that, then you are monitoring the energy of your chilled water, and you're monitoring it at the point that the mag meter is installed, um, which is great. Now, the problem with that can be if that mag meter ever needs uh, replacing or maintenance, if you have a bypass, you're no longer monitoring your chilled water when the, when the mag meter is out of service. Uh, if you don't have a bypass and you have to shut down the process, then you have to shut down the process to maintain that system. Um, so that is one, those are some of the big reasons why we are going to recommend Flexum, which is a clamp-on ultrasonic non-invasive energy meter. Um, as you can see here, the transducers are on the outside of the pipe. That is, this is the basic setup for, measure, for BTU measurement. Um, so we're reading the flow on the supply side and you're reading a temperature. You have a temperature element on the outside of the pipe as well. On the supply side, temperature on the return. And Flexum has a built-in flow computer um, that's gonna give you the BTU reading right out, of the, right out of the machine right there. So by using this, you're keeping the right systems cold without overchilling, and you're not wasting any energy, and the downtime is zero, and the maintenance, if any, is extremely easy with systems like this. This is an example of a data center uh, where chilled water is extremely important. If the water is not cold enough, then the computer systems, the, the data center itself, um, the systems uh, will not perform correctly, and it, it can cause shutdown, which is catastrophic for data centers. So, they choose a triple redundant install, usually. And as you can see here, this is the 502TE that's installed. You have three uh, separate flow computers um, on, the same, on the same line for triple redundancy, single channel energy meter. Uh, many other applications outside of data centers can get away with using just one energy meter, but for data centers, they require a lot of them require triple redundancy um, just to make sure there's never any downtime. So. Um, here's a couple of other options that you would have for chilled water measuring. You can do the single channel 502TE, which we just saw. Um, if you want a little more redundancy out of your one flow computer, you can use the 721TE, and you can have dual channels. So you have two separate transducers going back to the same flow computer. 
You can put those two transducers on the same pipe or on different pipes. So if you want to kind of branch out uh, your chilled water measurements, you can put two different transducers back to one flow computer and that can send a signal um, back to your PLC or wherever you'd like. Um, we do also have the 601 TE, which is a portable and that you can do things like spot checks with. You can go into locations and you know test test different um, different applications out using the portable. Uh, we do also offer demos for the portable as well. So if you want to do like a weekly demo and just kind of try some things out, uh, and we can come out and help you as well. But you can you can check those. Lastly is the quad beam, which is um, which which is the premier highest accuracy, most redundancy meter. I'm going to give you a, an image of what that looks like. Quad beam is what it says, quad beam, four transducers, and they can all go on the same pipe. They can all go on different pipes. And when you're looking at these different applications for BTU measurement, and you, if you're asking yourself how many channels is enough, it really does depend. For places like data centers, um, they require a lot of redundancy. If you're in a location where redundancy, where this is a critical application, uh, you want redundancy, or if you want to measure a lot of pipes, sometimes combining you know, using the quad beam to measure four different pipes can be more cost effective than four different meters. Um, sometimes the install requires, you know, when you have four, four beams shooting across the same uh, little path, as you see here on the right, um, you don't need as much straight run necessarily. Don't need as much straight run because the accuracy is you're, you're measuring each beam against the other beam and you can do the, the, the flow computer can do some complex math. So um, getting a little bit into the weeds here, but for most people, a single channel energy meter, a 502 TE, is going to do just fine. Um, but there are applications that you would need more. So, and then finally, just want to mention once you have this data from the flow computer, you need to do something with it to achieve that ultra low energy consumption. So, we also do offer softwares that takes the data in and manages that data to to ultimately save you money. It, it tells you, you know, it, it can integrate within the system um, to give you a much bigger picture of what you're doing with that data. The use of that data is what's so important to optimize your energy efficiency. Monitoring is great. And then implementing a system to lower your BTU output is what, what happens on the back end that really saves you money. So we can help with softwares here. Um, just another thing to mention is that we can integrate this with the other uh, other systems that you have. So if you have other smart devices, if you have a DCS or a SCADA or a historian, um, we can integrate all of that information in with this to create energy management software. And we can give you the right KPIs in real time uh, and, and no nuisance alarms. Um, I, I know the owner of KBC, uh, former owner of KBC, and um, we can take this data, we can take your data and put it anywhere you need and optimize your system. So that's a little bit of a bigger picture, you know, software solution. Um, but we're there from start to finish. We're there from the energy meter all the way to the actual optimization of your plant. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, sales at jmicompany.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day.